Hi, and welcome to Dynaudio Custom Install. Today, I'm here with Nick from Boca Theater and Automation to show you just how quick and easy it is to get started and finished. So Nick, I thought you would be bringing a ton of tools, but where are they? Well, that's the nice part about the Dynaudio speakers. And we're gonna just use a couple of basic tools to, to get us through the construction period. And then after that, it's all tool less. I love it. All right, well, let's get started. With the Dynaudio custom installation in wall speakers, I want to first find the stud. So I'm going to look on the wall. Maybe I might find the stud. Oh, I have a magnet that sticks here on the wall. I know that that's going to be my screw head. So I'll mark that with a piece of tape. If I continue on the same plane, move a little bit further, I found another screw head and I'll mark that with a piece of tape. Now again, I have a visual representation of how much space I have and where my studs in the wall might land. So I'm gonna take that and find my measuring tape and see my available space. I have 24 inches. Now I know that's gonna be the center of the stud. Maybe I might wanna move a little bit more into the open wall cavity. I'll make a mark here at 20 inches. So this would be the side of my in-wall speaker. Take my template. And I can line that up here against my mark. I'll get my level out and make sure that my template is level. Now that I have my template square, I could trace around the outside. And now I know on the wall where I want to put my speaker. One of the things that I like to do when I'm installing an in-wall speaker in a client's home, I'll just fold up a real simple piece of paper like this and I can tape that underneath my template where I'm going to cut. This will catch any of the drywall dust as it falls down. And keep it less clutter, less mess in the customer's home. I'll just start in the corner and go ahead and start cutting. Now that we have our hole in the wall for our speaker, this in-wall speaker comes with six friction tabs you'll see around the frame. So I'll go ahead and put my speaker wire through there, through the basket, and I'll simply use the friction tabs on the back. If I wanna adjust them, make sure it's level, I can just simply push down back on the tab and pull this back. So they're easy to adjust. Cinch that down there. It's almost one hand operation. I want to go ahead and check, make sure that I'm level. In this case, I'm not. So I'll simply loosen these tabs up just a bit. And then I can readjust that. There, I'm level. I'll go ahead and pull those down again. They're in with friction and I'm sure that I'm secure in the wall. Go ahead and match up our post. Just push down on the tab. Make sure our polarity is correct. And I'm ready to put the speaker into its home. Again, I want to make sure I have my tabs on the lock and I have that. When I push just softly, I'll hear it click. And that speaker is in the wall ready for a grill. Some might enjoy a little bit more brightness from the tweeter. 
So we could use this switch here. We can increase the sound from the tweeter, the brightness, or we could use the tweeter switch to just decrease some of the brightness. Now we're ready for the magnetic speaker grill. We'll just go ahead and put this over our corners and you'll see that this fits flush to the wall. The nice thing about this speaker grill is that it comes in white, so it can be custom painted to match our client's wall and any patterns that they might want to put on there. And you're ready to enjoy your Dyn Audio speaker.